Hello, kia ora and namaste. Um, my name is Isaac Brosnan from Victoria University of Wellington. Hi, uh, I'm Ankit Mehta. I'm the International Recruitment Manager South Asia for Victoria University of Wellington. And I'm Matthew O'Mara, Principal Advisor International Rankings and Reputation for the University. And we're here um, in India. We're delighted to be back after a long hiatus. Uh, we had a long pandemic which kept us out of the country, so we're delighted to be back here engaging with um, potential students and looking forward to welcoming students to our capital city university based in Wellington, New Zealand. Um, we have a long-standing history of um, high quality teaching, high quality education and research delivery, over 125 years of existence as a public university of New Zealand. We're here to announce that we have a range of scholarships for high achieving students, recognising students who have studied hard over this long uh, pandemic period um, and offering them some um, merited scholarship for undergraduate degrees as well as master's degrees. Um, those scholarships can be up to 10,000 New Zealand dollars um, of the tuition fee. Specific uh, courses that are very, uh, that are our strengths uh, and are, will be interesting to Indian students and budding scholars our, um, our undergraduate programs in the liberal arts, particularly where we are now in Delhi. Uh, we have a Bachelor of the Arts, we have a Bachelor of Communications, uh, as well as a Bachelor of Global Studies. Um, we also teach um, engineering at the bachelor's level, as well as uh, at the master's level, and we offer scholarships and internships throughout those programs. Those are many times paid internships within the industry. So our programs do lead to uh, industry um, connections. They are focused on industry capstone projects many times um, and preparing students for uh, work in New Zealand. Particular scholarships that we would like to highlight are our Vice Chancellor's Scholarship that is, a, is recognising high achieving students, particularly from the CBSE schooling system here in India. Uh, and that is $10,000 from their tuition fees up front um, for students who score around about the 85 to 100 percent mark in their CBSE. One of the unique things about our university is its proximity to government. Uh, one of our campuses is literally across the road from our parliament and executive. Our Prime Minister, our, current, our nation's current Prime Minister, used to be president of our student association. Uh, two Prime Ministers ago, another graduate of our university, and even a Prime Minister of the 1980s is a distinguished professor on our law faculty. Our, our Governor General used to teach at our university. And so this gives you, you know, Chief Justices, Attorney Generals, this gives you a sense of how closely we're connected to government. We, we seek to be, and in many ways are, a channel between, a connector between academics and government, and we provide advice to government. And so this gives us a influence, not just with politicians or even officials, but with heads of creative institutions as well. So we are, we are the creative capital of our country. And this access is formal, but it's also informal. Because our city of Wellington is a very livable city, it's small, it, it's very compact, this means that you bump into decision makers on a day-to-day -day basis at the cafe. At the, at, the, at the opera, at a, at a sports game, a cricket game. So, so this means that we have an intimate access to power and to influence, and this is um, with a nation whose public sector is, is a model for, for many parts of the world in high regard. Uh, one of uh, the things that makes uh, New Zealand a very special destination is uh, you know, make, making things simpler for the students as far as the entry requirements are concerned. Uh, so New Zealand recognizes the Indian boards and hence why it makes uh, things very easier because the students are not uh, required to appear for any additional tests such, uh, such as GMAT or SAT. Uh, the only requirement is uh, to appear for an English language test uh, which can be IELTS, PT, TOEFL or any of those tests which are recognized by the universities, anyone which the student is comfortable with. So uh, yeah, that is one of uh, the things which, which uh, you know, makes the integrated criteria very simple for the students. Uh, secondly, uh, uh, we are uh, you know preparing to welcome uh, the students for the Feb intake. We are excited, uh, and uh, uh, the borders uh, have reopened, 
uh, and uh, SIAC is one of our uh, you know official partners, and we work really closely with them. Uh, we support their events, uh, and uh, if if you are interested to know more about the Kerala University of Wellington, uh, whenever the events happen, uh, do reach out to us, and uh, you know we'll be more than happy to meet you uh, during the events and help you with any queries that you may have.